welcome back to my channel today I'm doing a flip through of a new junk journal that I've just finished and this one um, is an order by someone so um, it'll go off to its home soon um, I used a hardcover book here uh, that I've gutted and it just happened to be that it had some really um, nice writing on the front so um, I've kept that it's got um, three signatures sewn in and covered with lace on the spine and um, um, a lace closure so we'll open that up and so you can see here the I've utilized the um, the writing on the book which um, yeah I didn't want to cover it up so um, I've just added flowers to the flowers on the book and gone from there so I've got some um, fabric flowers uh, faux stamp um, a yo-yo flower um, a strip of my sewn um, paper scraps um, yeah the signatures sewn in there and they um, and I utilized the back cover as well just to um, leave some of the nice writing out I think that was a page from the book I just covered up you know the um, the details on the book that was on the back so let's have a look through now I've got a vintage postcard in the front here which is absolutely gorgeous and I'll just turn that into a flap you can see the vintage writing right in here there's a pocket here as well um, I should get my little where's my card out so I can use a pocket and um, I like to put a little Australia flag in each of my junk journals I don't know why but <laughs> and there's some faux tea cards that I made. They're in a little pocket there. Here's a little um, cross leg pocket. Um, originally, um, Pam at the Paper Outpost showed how to make these. And I've just added my little um, patty pan collage to the front of that. So I just got some lace that's uh, off of a fabric pattern. Um, I bought this really cool book about. Um, all about the Queen and the headlines in, in newspapers and um, I'll show you that book anyway in another video. So I've got paid different papers here to write on, music paper, old book, old map paper, there's a little paper clip um, writing pad and it folds out and you can write in there as well. So just different papers, two out of different um, um, writing books that you can write on. There's some, some of my scratch paper. This one's from an old um, flower book. That is off the other end of a um, photo album. I'll show you in a second when I get to it. Some graph paper. Um, that was another old book I'll show you too. I think it was about printing down through the ages. And this is a little card. Some of the cards that um, I told you in one of my previous videos that I've um, used to put in junk journals. There's a tag pocket there. This is like mulberry paper, I think. Pretty sure it's mulberry paper. I've got a big roll of it from the op shop. Um, kids book page. Beautiful graphics on that. To-do list, envelope. And most of the little tags I've stitched on and put tea dyed paper on the back. To journal on. There's um, a paper doily. There's a, just a little tuck there. That's one of my old cards as well. And that's just a little paper bag in there. This is the middle of the first signature. I've just got um, little uh, faux tea um, tags on there. Um, a little ruffle. These come out of a book that I found at the op shop and I've made them into um, journal um, cards. Mm, that's a Tim Holtz card, that one. There's some more of the tea, um, faux tea cards that I've made in a little lace pocket. And then you've got the other side of all those what I've just showed you, just little um, tag space there. And the... Um, the lace on the edges of the pages. Here is one of my little coin um, holder specimen cards here. I've just glued them on. 
I don't think there's anything in that pocket. That's a um, envelope. And then that's the other side of what I was trying to tell you, the photo album. So you've got a pocket either side, a clear pocket to put something in. So you've got uh, the old photo, um, sorry, flow, uh, flower um, book there. And that's the other side of the scratch paper. And then you've got different writing papers. And you fold out different little spots there. That's got a bookmark in it. But, um, you can write on the back of that as well. I'll just put that back in there. Oops. <laughs> Everything's fallen down. Okay. There's plenty of writing space on there. I think it was an index. Yeah, it was an index um, page out of the back of a map book or something like that. It just was really nice, dirty paper. There's an old map page, music page, ledger paper and writing paper. And then you've got um, old newspaper. It's not an old newspaper, but it was a book about old newspaper headlines. And you've got some tea dyed papers that I've made. And that's the end of the first signature. Did I say there was three? Yeah, I said there was three signatures in there. Um, and then you've got a whole book paper that I've tea dried. Piece of that newspaper. So it just repeats itself um, each signature. Um, of, the, of the same sorts of papers that's in the first signature. But I might have just decorated them a little differently. Or put different um, laces on. But I'll show you each one anyway. Get some um, scratch paper. And then I've put a little book in here that I've made, just a little tea dyed book to, um, to write in. That's in an envelope page. And that's a, um, a faux stamp that I made. More of that marble paper and kids book page. Beautiful graphics in this that kids book. There's a to-do list and envelope pocket and the paper doily. And that's the middle of the second signature and it's got some little uh, little flags on this one. And more of the little um, tags, not tags, but um, journaling spots with the tea dyed back and sewn around. And this one's got... Um, a nice little pretty ruffled um, fabric tags on it or tabs more of the faux um, tea cards in a little pocket there that's got a weekly two weekly to-do list thing in there and that's some little lace this is a little tag that you pull out and I've just put a really long piece of lace on this just to make something different and I've sewn around it and backed it with the tea dyed paper just pop it back in there it's a faux stamp and that's just an envelope with a um a blank envelope with a little blank card in it to write in and this little tuck spot and I've got some graph paper that's the other side of that photo album again that you can just put whatever you like in the clear pages and the paper um, flower oh, I keep saying paper flowers the flower book um, and the other side of that scratch paper and then you've got different types of um, just the blank writing papers there's another piece of that index Hold out index thing. So I've left some of them blank so that the recipient can just put their own things um, on, on some of those pages as well and decorate it their own way. Some blank writing paper, another piece of that um, newspaper book with some lace on it, and then you've got the end of the second signature. And I've just punched uh, one of my um, 
punches here and used it as a stencil on either side just to add something different to it. There's a little paper bag pocket with an index card in it. That's all been tea dyed those pages. And the other side with a little uh, of that newspaper page with little, I think there's three of these little half doily tabs through the book. You can see them there. One, two, three. And music paper. I've got a little bit of music paper throughout that. Because it's music paper on one side and just regular writing paper on the other side. That is a ledger paper book. And music paper, map paper. Here's an index card. That one's got a little slip out spot in there. And we've got more of just the writing papers. There's a piece of my scratch paper. Just testing some stamps on that. Now I'm going to say it right this time. The flower book. <laughs> okay, there's another, another um, photo album page. Clear pocket. Graph paper. This one's a cute one. This one was an old card that I made many years ago and I've just changed it into a little tuck corner. And I thought it just looked quite pretty on there against the purple page. This is a giant playing card that I've covered with a paper doily and you can see it through. I like how you can see it through the doily and, that's, um, and I've sewn around it and Backed it with tea dyed paper so you can write on the back of that. Here's another one of my little um, specimen cards made with the coin pouch or the coin folder. They were some of the plants that we got picked on a walk around here and I um, dried them. There's another little postcard in there. Some of that um, mulberry paper. Kids book page do list there's a little card inside that envelope pocket paper doily there's a little lace um pocket there i don't think yeah i think that's a tim holtz thing and that's the middle of the third signature with the little faux tea bag um tags on them and a little fabric um ruffle tab there's another one of those um I don't know what do you call them? Journaling, a journal card. And I'll show you a video of some of, um, I think I might have showed you a video of some of the books I've taken that out of. And then, um, envelope pocket, and a doily, the to do list, and a kids' book card, the mulberry paper. There's another um, specimen card. That one there was, oh, we were in Aubrey and there was a tree that was, it was raining down like snow. These little, um, little seed pods, they were really delicate. So I collected up a few and they, they worked perfect in that. So there's another card that, you know, you can write in that I've converted to a um, journal space. And that's sitting in a envelope pocket. Some grid paper. There's this little bookmark. I might end up putting some tea dye paper on the back of that. That's just the little you might see me using all that scrap um, coloured paper. There's the flower page and my scratch paper. There's some journaling spots and that's a little bookmark that I made with um and put on a paper clip. So that unfolds like the other um, index papers. There's an old map page and some lace on the edge. And old music paper. I think someone's written yeah, 1985 on that one. And some ledger paper, writing paper, music paper. And there's a page out of that um, the book about newspaper. I think it was all about the Queen and it was all the front front um, page 
oh, pages of the newspapers down through the years. And it's quite interesting. I'll have to show you in that in another video. Here's another paper bag uh, pocket with an index card in it. And to finish up, there's just a little another blank envelope and card in the back in your pocket. That was um, a page out of this book. And then the last page, you know, the first and the last page I have um, covered in a, a big doily and I sewed that into the signature. So, yeah. And then I put that in too. Instead of just putting some material in, I um, glued that into the spine to give it some more sturdiness. And that was that was actually the inside of the book cover, so it was quite pretty. So I left it there and in the front. And it's sort of a, a mix of old and new, really, with the um, yeah, with the book the way it was. So it's got it's quite healthy and blooming, with enough room to you know add the own bits. I like all the little lace things, trims. That you can see the little ruffles all that type of thing it's got 246 pages in this journal and that's counting front and back um, hopefully now I can get back to my Australiana journal and put some more because I wanted to do that one step by step so hopefully I'll have some more up on that soon Alright, I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. Um, this one isn't for sale, it's already sold. So, yeah, I hope you're well and happy and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye, thanks for watching.